59 in Harlem, uh, Jenny Lee. You never had a chance, Jenny Lee, standing on a corner in the belly of Harlem. And the horns were blowing crazy, Jenny Lee, shaking as a monkey has its way, your veins bulged like rivers. Mad dogs are always biting, the needle hard as iron, Jenny Lee. You were 15 when you started, just earth and dogs, and so I would come, hard rock, black cat, red bird, Jenny Lee. You never had a chance, Jenny Lee, scream and shake and vomit green, the horns are always blowing. Your guts cut out at 20, no black Jesus on a cross of neon, preachers still wailing, blue balls on the corner, Jenny Lee. You were born and you die, no sweet ride for you, baby. The monkeys always jump in all the faces of angels. No more walking Easter Sunday, no more turkey trimmings, baby. No more five-star rot cut sour whiskey, Jenny Lee. A sky full of flowers, a yellow moon for you. Jenny died on the corner where all the voices were. The horns were blowing crazy, a siren wailed in the night. Your body wrapped in flowers in the gutters of the sky. Out in the open, out in the street, heaven in your eyes, Jenny Lee. I'd like to read a poem by Bob Kaufman. By the way, please don't applaud it until the end of the reading. And the same for Cat Collins and Boone. Because uh, I want to get this done as fast as I can. Would you wear my eyes? My body is a torn mattress, tis heaven throbbing place for the comings and goings of loveless transits. The whole of me is an unfurnished room filled with dank bread, escaping in gasps to nowhere. Before completely objective mirrors, I've shot myself with my eyes, but death refused my advances. I have walked on my walls each night through strange landscapes in my head, I have brushed my teeth with orange peel iced with cold blood from my dripping faucets. My face is covered with maps of dead nations. My hair is littered with drying ragweed. Bitter raisins drip haphazardly from my nostrils while schools of glowing minnows swim from my mouth. The nipples of my breasts are sun-brown cockleburrs. Long-forgotten Indian tribes fight battles on my chest unaware of the sunken ships rotting in my stomach. My legs are charred remains of burned cypress trees. My feet are covered with moss from bayous flowing across my floor. I can't go out anymore. I shall sit on my ceiling. Would you wear my eyes? I've written many poems for uh, Jack Amblom and Vita Dershowman written on the death of Jack Mitchell and uh, what it applies to Bob Kaufman or any true poet. The shrill cry of Lorca rings out in the night. Jazz notes loud as thunder burst the eardrums like artillery fire. The four walls closing in like a police dragnet. Poets are butterflies spreading their wings, reshaping the stars, the universe, cosmic matter waiting to be. Reborn. By the way, nice to see Mel Clay in the audience, one of North Beach uh, elder statesmen here. Can you give him a little hand? He deserves it. <laughs> as you know, I'm, or as I was introduced anyway, I was born in San Francisco. In this poem, San Francisco Streets is more or less my love affair with her. Uh, it was published in City Lights Foundation as part of Then Poet. Laureate Devorah Majors Project, San Francisco Streets. I've walked these streets like a crime photographer walks his beat, my eyes taking in her every movement, my brain storing real and imagined changes. In 67 years, her changes have not eluded me. She is older now, more wrinkled and crabby, much like me. But the two of us managed to get along like business partners looking after each other's interests. Market Street, once a diamond palace, now a gaudy whore. Mission Street, once the home of the Irish, now glossed over. Tough-looking youths with dagger stares. You have to give and take. You have to learn to adjust. The city is like a cup of coffee. Stir enough, and the flavor floats to the top. I have walked these
these streets in good condition and broken down physique, knowing there is no other city like her in the world. She is like a pair of empty shoes sitting under the bed with no feet big enough to fill them. She is like the last bullet in the executioner's gun. She is like a room full of poets crazed with their own conversation. She is like Billy Holiday drenched in sweat. She's like the face of God, all forgiving in her insatiable lust for life. These next couple poems, I'd like you to view them as uh, kind of snapshots or word shots uh, of different neighborhoods in the city at different times. I've been documenting the city for 50 years with words and sometimes an icon camera. This is for a homeless man in Civic Center. His name was Joe. I got to talk to him a couple of times. He sleeps in doorways or on park benches, doesn't want to go to a shelter, not even when prodded with the beat cop's nightstick. Under threat of jail, he curls up in a fetal position, trying to shut out memories of Vietnam, nightmares that whirl inside his head like helicopter blades. The failed years gather inside the cranial guitar of his mind, play all-night rhapsodies inside his head. Warrior, troubadour of feral origins, pale spokesman of lost tribes, masked as a homeless transit. Poet, prophet of beauty in all its imperfections, ravaged by the streets, kissed by angels, left tired, withered, like an unattended Kansas grain field. This is on South of Market, not the South of Market today, but when it was the seedy side of town. Charlie Plymel, when he was out here, worked for a while on the docks, member of the Teamster Union, longshoreman. He said whenever they walked there, they always walked in pairs, and they made it a point to have their hooks that they un unloaded cargo with prominently displayed south of market. You can see from the look in his eyes, the scar on his face, he's someone you don't want to mess with. His eyes survey the scene like a periscope. He's a two-bit thug looking for action, an old beat cop looking for a head to bash. He's Boston Blackie and Al Capone rolled into one. His women are mean and lean, bred on the S&M scene. With tattooed flesh and black mist, they walk the seedy side of town looking to do the last waltz with you. In a back alley at South of Market Street or in a basement dungeon, it's all the same, all part of the game. Doing the tap dance on your spine, looking dead serious like a sumo wrestler. Side